Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to create your own custom and portable GUI graphic user interface. The material for this video is from my book Cat Scripting Language on section 6.2.10 TCP My Master Q on page 557. So on this video, we will create something like this, a gear that can, we can place as many button that you like. Uh, in this video, we will use this gear to manage some layout, to display some layout. Here we show five button. Every time we click a button, some action will occur. What action is that depend on how do we program it? We will use this command high create form, high create app form, then high display form. In this form, we can have as many fields we like. In this case, if we have five button here, we should have five lists here. Here, I only show three. A better way to do it is to separate our the button here then call those button in the high grid at form so you can read more clearly this scheme here is created by this script So basically, we uh, create uh, five button. Then we place a button, the location of the button. Then we display it. In this button, we call some procedure. So we have to define what procedure is. So we write a small routine here. I will explain later what is this command do. Then finally, after we write the skill code, we can load on the CIW window. Then we invoke the command. After you write some procedure, you can put into the buy key. So you have. Uh, either the buy key you can type in or the gear so you have two options to invoke the cadence skill command on the first example I will get a gear and it has only two button plus m1 and minus m1 when you click plus m1 the meta one will display on your layout window if you click minus one, the M1 layer will be disappear. So this is a procedure or function to do it. Uh, again, you create a using high create app form. And these are the two buttons. So the button name, the first one here, see button text, it plus M1. And when you click it, this function will be invoked. So the plus M1 is to display, so you use the command LE set layer visible. And what is the layer middle one? drawing true and you have to do the high draw to see it the m1 here that depend on your company naming 
it might be just M1 or Met1, whatever. So in this one, I use Meta1. And here's the location of this plus M1 there. So this command here, list here, it basically create a button. If you click it, whatever command after the callback keyword here will be execute. Here we execute two command. The first command is set layer visible, and the layer is m meter one drawing. You set to true. After that, you have to do the high redraw of refresh. In here is the location. We repeat for minus M1. In this case, we just basically set to new and with this different location. So this name here, it comes from title there. After you write a script, then you can load in the CIW window and invoke the procedure. Uh, and the next thing we want to do, you know, after the callback here, instead of putting the command after the callback here, we want to put in a function just in case where we have a very long step to do, or, you know, let's say 20 steps. You don't want to put in there, it will be cluster. So it must be better up that you put into a function. So that's what we do in the next example here. Again, the same command, except that in the callback, we call the function as m1p plus d and minus. So we put on the command into this function. And this is the function. In this function again, we have two command. So we just repeat from the earlier script. Same thing. So is you, now you can read more clearly. Now we can write a little bit more clearer code for this one by bringing the high grade button out. Like this. First, we create a button and we name it. Then we put it in the list. So, in case you have hundred of button, it's more clearly. Let's use the same function. Now, we just add this uh, let a prop. Okay, let basically is local variable. Same thing as prop, but prop, you can add multiple return. So in this case, we just use let. So this let function is like that. And this one, we create these two buttons. Uh, this button, what it do is it set lay on layer visible so basically, it turn on every layer, or it turn off, dependent new or true. And of course, you have to refresh or redraw, I redraw. Uh, in the next example, we uh, create a gear with a little bit more than a dozen button, and we follow the same procedure. First, we create on this button, and we give a name from H1 to 14. So basically, in this one, we turn on M1 or poly uh, diffusion or contact, or we can even go up or down the high echo by one. Here the I create app form and on those button and it location and we display 
same format as the previous script now we have a lot more function so for the procedure up or down sometimes in the design you have uh, maybe 20 level of hierarchical you have, uh, you have small cell bigger cell much bigger cell so sometimes it's good for you to navigate up and down the hierarchical one by one instead of set stop layer to max on the top level in this one you can go up and down by one layer the command high get current window assume that you have a layout window open somewhere so this command is to get that window and it check the stop level of that window if you want to turn on the hierarchical to the max then you set to the db get max higher depth so basically you turn on the window to be visible or if you want to turn go back to the top level then you set to zero zero is top level That's all I like to cover in this video. Again, the material for this video is come from my book Cat Scripting Language, and it cover the num number of programming language. Here we talk about skill. See you in the next video.